YouTube, it's your girl, Miss Brooklyn TV, coming at you. I wanted to do a, a review on Catfish Season 5, episode, Catfish Season 6, Episode 5, Marvin and Austin. Okay, let's just get right into it. Marvin is a young man who's 22 years old out of, out of Joplin, Missouri. He was living in St. Louis, but now he's in Joplin, which is a small town. Okay, Marvin is a 22-year-old African-American gay, gay man. He had, he doesn't know anybody in Joplin. So he goes on this site called Grinder, And it's a site for um, gay men. And Marvin is on this site and he sees this profile from a guy named Austin. The guy was good looking. He was cute with, with blonde hair and blue eyes. He looked like a model. So Marvin starts messaging him. You know, they start messaging and then they start talking and texting. And it's only been maybe like three months and he wants to meet up with this person. So, you know, he wants to see if Austin is really real. So Neve and Max fly out to Joplin and they're talking to Marvin. And, Mar and Marvin shares the fact that he sent pictures of his privates to Austin, which was stupid on Marvin's part because you don't send somebody pictures of your privates and you never met them, okay? Because you don't know what that person could do with your pictures, but he's young, so he's young and naive. He's only 22. Keep that in mind. Okay, so Neve and Max, I mean, sorry, Neve wasn't there. Max was there with his best friend who's a rocker, and Max and his friend, I think, um, Chantella, whatever her name was, they start doing the research. And they do um, image search on the uh, pictures. And they came up to a Facebook, they came up to an Instagram page for a guy named Miles. And it's the same pictures, and Miles is in Toronto, Canada. So it's obvious Marvin is not talking to Miles. So then they notice on the Facebook page, this guy named Woody had commented, so they call Woody. And he's a hairdresser. And they went to Woody. And Woody says, I know a guy named Kurt. Who. No. He, I think he said he knew a guy named Isaiah or something. And then they got like Isaiah's number. And then. Um, they. Contacted. I think. No. But anyhow. Um. They bring back the information back to Marvin. And Marvin is disappointed because it's obviously not Austin he's talking to. So then Max gets a call and it's from Kurt. And Kurt's, Kurt is saying that he's Isaiah's boyfriend. Uh, and then the guy named Miles had called Max. And he was video chatting and he was talking to Marvin. And he told Marvin he's never been in America. So anyway, make a long story short. Um, Kurt calls Max and he's like I want to get all of this out in the open I'm tired of this foolishness so they go and they meet Kurt they go and meet this guy named Isaiah and he's like it's my boyfriend Kurt who you know has been doing all this foolishness so they go to the house and this guy comes out his name is Jason and they're like well it's Kurt there and Kurt comes out with a young lady so pretty much Marvin was catfished by three people. Kurt made the page, but Mar but Marvin was talking to Jason and Caleb. And they tried to put the blame on Marvin. They're like, how could you have not known it was fake? And um and and you were talking to us and all this other like bull crap. I mean, how could you blame him? He didn't know he was talking to two people, let alone a man and a woman. He didn't know that. So they were, so then Max was like, but well, why did you create the page? And they're like, and um, they created the page to catch cheaters. Okay, now why is that your business if people are cheating? Do you know these people? No, you don't. So that was stupid. So the next day they meet up with all three people, and um, you know, the girl named Kayla was saying that all her boyfriends turn out to be gay, and that she went on that grinder site to catch cheaters. 
and they're like, but that makes no sense. And then, anyhow, they all apo- they all apologized to Marvin, and then Kayla deleted the Austin page. And then when they did the update two months later, uh, Marvin is no lo- no longer on that site, and they met up with the um, three people, and they all doing fine. They're no longer catfishing people. But um, Marvin should have known that something wasn't right because Grinder is a site where gay men go on there to look for sex. And I only know this because a man here in New York City went on that site and he met a man and the person killed them. So there are weirdos and lunatics on that site. So it's kind of good in a way that he went on catfish because suppose he had met up with the person and they had killed him or raped him or something you know you, you never know people are sick out people are sick out here okay so you know i was just happy everything ended well the page the austin page has been deleted and now um marvin is doing great um this catfish was okay you know I was just through with the um, I was just through with the episode when I heard he went on Grinder because I knew it was gonna be some bull crap, okay. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, tell me what you guys think about this episode, all right? And this is your girl, Miss Brooklyn TV.